North Korea has demanded its cargo ship that was intercepted carrying arms be released immediately. Panama stopped the ship on its way from Cuba to North Korea last week and seized its cargo. Investigators have found missile equipment, MiG fighter jets and other arms. Cuba says that the Soviet era weapons were obsolete and were on their way to North Korea for repairs. Slowly, the secrets of the North Korean Chonchong Gang are coming to light. Another two crates of armaments found under a cargo of sugar. These, North Korea says, are nothing but aging weapons, which it was due to overhaul and return to Cuba. All part of a legitimate contract, it says. But what's legitimate under North Korean law may be banned under UN sanctions. Panama has asked the Security Council to investigate. Our ambassador in the UN already uh, sent invitation to evaluate and uh, determine what this is all about. Inside the port of Cologne, heavily armed military troops stand guard, acutely aware of the cargo on board the North Korean vessel. So they just opened up two containers that were removed from the ship today, and you have to take a look at this. Both containers are full of weaponry. There's inspectors inside each container taking a look at what these items are, and they're trying to figure out, obviously, what it is. For us, it's important to, to finish this operation, wait for the United Nations to come, and they will decide. Panama is completely uh, transparent in this. We have no experience in dealing with this kind of problem. Right now, what's happening is that inspectors are inside each container, as you can see with their flashlights, just really taking a look at what they found inside. Uh, who knows what this is? I think it's anybody's guess at this point. But it's pretty extraordinary that they found these two containers. And as you can see, the top of the container is, is bowed, and that's because the bags of sugar that were hiding all these containers were on top. They were so heavy that they actually crushed the container down. A spokesperson for the UN says transporting the weapons may constitute a breach of international sanctions. If it is uh, confirmed uh, that the vessel was carrying arms or related material and that the shipment was part of a purchase or sale to or from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, then that would indeed be a breach of the UN sanctions regime uh, relating to that country. The United States will assist in Panama's investigation. The types of technical assistance we could provide include things like um, identifying the material on board, uh, as well as uh, providing personnel who are familiar with these types of inspections. The spokesperson added that the U.S. government will seek more information on the cargo from Cuba. Among the many thousands of bags of sugar is a wealth of Soviet-era weaponry, some of it yet to be found. The 240 tons consists of two anti-aircraft missile systems, nine missiles in parts and spares, 15 jet engines, and two MiG-21 fighter jets. All of it is claimed off for repair in North Korea, ideologically allied to Cuba and one of the only other countries in the world still using Soviet-era equipment. The North Koreans are hard up. They need as much raw materials, cash, whatever they can get their hands on. For the Cubans, I mean, they, you know, their, their inventories are very low, their military is in not in a good shape, hasn't been really since, of course, the Soviet Union fell in the early 90s. So for them, um, the idea that they could maybe get, maybe get some of their uh, surface-to-air missiles in good shape again is certainly an incentive for them. UN inspectors have been asked to examine the ship's contents. They'll be keeping an open mind over whether Cuba's story really is the truth. At the UNHQ in New York, diplomats cited several resolutions they say North Korea and Cuba have broken by moving the weapons. As you know, I mean, shipments of arms or related material to or from Korea 
of arms or related material to or from Korea uh, would violate Security Council resolutions, three of them as a matter of fact. Obviously this shipment, if it's confirmed to have what uh, we suspect, um, would be of interest to the Sanctions Committee. Both North Korea and Cuba insist they maintain the right to defend themselves militarily and to do that they need all this and they need it in working order. This shipment though won't reach the Korean Peninsula and won't be going back to Cuba.